Lower the volume on your cell phone so we don't distract the person that is next to you. And um, I would like to say thank you and I'm sorry from the very beginning since this is barely the second presentation of Gladia Coin at this particular place. Uh, the truth of the matter is that Gladia Coin is such an easy opportunity to promote that we don't really need these type of meetings. Nevertheless, it's good to get together and, and, and meet each other. Mm -hmm. So before we begin, I would appreciate you can just say hello to the guy that is next to you and tell him that you are extremely thankful to have him here. <laughs> because this is what the opportunity is all about about meeting people and sharing the good news of Gladia Coin. Now, Gladia Coin is a whole different concept of multi-level marketing. Uh, I don't know if this is the first time that you are here, but if you are already in, you know you are already making money. Right. You are making money without recruiting people actually, which is great. Now, if you learn to recruit, or if you are already recruiting, you know that's where the big money comes in. Now, when it goes down to recruiting, there is a misunderstanding out there where people say, yeah, but you know, I don't like to recruit because I don't like to use people. You heard that before, probably. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, people out there are desperately needing to be used. What do I mean by that? It's not we saying it, it's not multi level marketing saying it, but 98% of people will end up, if they're lucky, they're gonna die before risk retirement, before they reach 65. If they're not lucky, they're gonna be forced to live with 40% of what the 100% was not enough. So people need to be used. Now, a guy comes to me once and says, listen, I'm gonna help you make $10,000 a month. Back in the old, poor, multi-level <laughs> marketing concept. And then I say, and then he says, and I'm gonna be making $2,000 for helping you, for using you. Do you mind to be used if you be making extra $10,000 a month? I'm asking you guys, yeah. do you mind? No problem. You smell they love, you smell they love. <laughs> exactly. And best of all is that it's a, an opportunity to earn extra income. Worst comes the worst, the opportunity don't work for you. I mean in the conventional multi-level marketing concept, worst comes the worst, you don't make any money. But you are already not making any extra money anyways. So it's a win-win situation. If it don't work for you, then you're back where you started. Most likely, Gladia Coin will work for you. Why? Because as I said a little while ago, you'll be able to earn Bitcoins, even if you don't recruit. Now, Bitcoin is a whole new concept. Most people don't know what a Bitcoin is. And that is the reason why we are here. But since Bitcoins are a complete different concept, what I can say is, let's make sure that we open our mind to the possibilities. <coughs> to the possibilities that me not knowing don't mean that it don't work. Me not knowing don't mean that it's not already working. And I recall back in January when um, my friend said, listen, I'm working on a business and it looks good, Eduardo, we need to talk. He texted me and I ignored him. Why did I ignore him? Because I saw him back in September, he was needing $2,500. So my mind automatically went into, I need money. My friend is inviting me to see a business, but I already know my friend needs money. What can he do for me? That's the way my mind thought at the moment. So I ignored him. That was in January. February, towards the end of February, he said, listen, Eduardo, in text, I'm making about $10,000 a day. I was like, oh, I'm minor, so I hear what I said, oh, shit. <laughs> there is no way he's making that much a day. Nobody makes that money again. So I ignored him again. <laughs> Then at the middle of March, he said, listen, why are you ignoring me? I want to invite you to a cup of coffee. And at that moment, my mind switched.
because I didn't want to listen to someone who I thought didn't have any money to help me, but I was willing to share a cup of coffee with a friend of mine. So I drove from Alhambra to here San Fernando, and he pulls up his phone and said, listen, watch, 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 watch. And he shows me $26,000. I know he's a hardworking man. So I said, so this is what you made already since December till now? That's great. He said, no, this is what I got paid yesterday. <laughs> sure. But nevertheless, I opened my eyes. <laughs> and, and I asked him, how is it that you're doing it? He said, well, I'm sharing a, a platform with Bitcoins. And I already knew about Bitcoins. Mm -hmm. He showed me the way it was working. And then he said, listen, I'm going to do a presentation in Downey. You should put attention to it. So I followed him to Downey and I saw him do a presentation. We have the cup of coffee around 10 a.m. Then his presentation was at 1. It ended up at 3. And at 3, he showed me his phone again. He said, look, I just got paid again. It was $25,000 more. Well, the equivalent of $25,000 mm because -hmm. you don't get money here. You get Bitcoins. Right. Then I was hooked. I said, I don't care what this guy is doing. I don't care if it is illegal. I want to make the money that this guy is making, even if it's just 10% of that. And that's how I joined. The reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because if you're not a part of Gladia coin yet, worst comes the worst, even if you don't understand, position yourself. Position yourself while you're learning. You'll be thankful that you did. You'll be thankful that you, you did not commit the same mistake that I made. Mm -hmm. I'm doing good. I'm pleased with what happened to me. I've been in about a month and so and I'm making some decent income, more than I ever thought. But nevertheless, I'd be a few hundred thousand dollars right. <laughs> with more money in my bank account if I would have been humble enough when he shared the concept with me, when he tried to share the concept with me at the beginning. So with any more to say, I would like you guys to help me welcome the number one income earner with Gladia Coin, Mr. William Portillo. Right. I keep on saying, man, this guy looks even better every day. He keeps on looking better and better and better as they go by. Even coffee tastes good. <laughs> How are you guys? Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Are you guys excited? Yes. yes. You better get excited because Gladicoin is about to change your life forever. I am so grateful to uh, have been introduced to Bitcoin about a year ago. About a year ago, someone talked to me about Bitcoin, and I was interested because I was at a company, a product company, and I wasn't even making a quarter of that, what that individual was doing through Bitcoin. So his results attracted me to the market. I initially uh, invested about 26000 into Bitcoin mining, because you could do mining. But I came in a little bit in the tail end of mining. Uh, you know, back in the days in 2009, 2010, 11, 12, you could have mined with your own computer with your own laptop. You downloaded a program and you were mining, you know, using your house electricity to mine. But the difficulty to get those coins became harder and harder and harder. And now <clears throat> you need a supercomputer worth at least sixty, eighty thousand dollars and a lot of electricity, which a lot of people don't have, to be able to re receive some bitcoins through mining. But I didn't know that. I just, you know, found a company that was doing mining through a group of us, and I you know, invested. Um, I'm still getting paid through mining, probably about 43 bucks a day. <laughs> I initiated with about $180 a day, which, you know, it was pretty good, right? Imagine every day getting paid to your wallet, 180 bucks through mining. I was quickly uh, addicted. Just like when an addict uh, has his first drink or you know, has his first hit, you know, I was addicted to Bitcoin. And uh, so I became uh, an avid, you know, a, a student of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency <clears throat> to the point that, you know, I will be dedicating myself to this industry solely. So um, I uh, played around with a couple of companies in uh, crowdfunding with Bitcoin through a two by 12 matrix. Uh, in a period of 60 days, I brought in about 5,000 people in my organization. And I probably did about six bitcoins. Wow. 
It wasn't very lucrative. So um, the person that introduced me to Gladiaco actually was actually my downline in that company. And he said, William, you, how much have you really made? And I can't lie to people. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I never like to exaggerate. I tell you how it is. You either like it or not. He, I mean, he asked me, how much money have you made through crowdfunding through Bitcoin? And they said about roughly about six Bitcoins in 60 days, and I was working my butt off. That's one thing I do, guys. See, I'm not that intelligent guy, or, you know, very wise guy, or you know, you know, very influential guy. I just work my ass off. That's what I do. See, that's what I, that's what I was taught when I was little. Used to work, but you know, I was with the wrong vehicle, the wrong compensation plan, the wrong company, the wrong concept of Bitcoin. So December 28th, my downline told me about this opportunity. And if you're skeptical about Gladiator Coin, let me tell you, no one is going to be more skeptical than me. At least I beat you on that. <laughs> it seemed too good to be true. I came in with 0.10 of Bitcoin. At that time, it was $85. Two, three days after, I upgraded to 0.30, part of cost three. Then a day after I upgraded to the fourth, and then the fifth. By February 1st, I had done my due diligence. May I share with you guys what I found in one month? Please. See, because that was crucial. Finding out what I found out in one month was crucial so I can have that switch be on. So I can put my name, put my face, and just do this worldwide. And I found a couple of things that I would like for you to take notes. But I must warn you, please, be aware. The information I'm about to share with you is going to cost you a problem called insomnia. <laughs> for the next three years to come. <laughs> do not tell me that I did not warn you. Please, do not tell me, okay? See, because most people have had uh, some type of experience, whether it be negative or positive. Mostly negative. Yes or yes? Right. So, in Spanish, we have a word that you must learn that it says, La burra no era arisca. La hicieron. <laughs> and basically what he's saying is, the donkey wasn't really scared. She became scared. That's the translation. Doesn't sound the same way. <laughs> and basically, it is that you know most of us come in with fear. How many here have experienced fear? Lift up your hands if you have ever experienced fear. If you haven't experienced fear, that means you are a Martian, you're from Pluto, you're from some other planet. And let me tell you, fear is good. When somebody would tell you, "Hey, there's a fire," what is your first reaction? Tell me, come on. Run. Hello. Fear. You know? You're not going to say, well, please explain to me what fire is. <laughs> Would you give me the exact coordinate where the fire is at? <coughs> Let me plan out my exit. BS. <laughs> right? What caused you to move that way? Tell me. Fear. fear. So fear is good. Yes? yes. Right? Absolutely. Yes. But fear is not good when an opportunity comes to your life. And that fear detains you from the blessing that God Almighty has bested upon you. Right? How many here have ever prayed for a blessing, a financial blessing? Let's talk to any if you believe it. I don't want to start preaching here, but you know. <laughs> right? See, we pray. And when the blessing comes to you, many of us are questioning. Is it really, Lord? <laughs> right? I once heard that anecdote that this guy was uh, so trustful of God, right? And there was a big rain come in. People in boats already, because there was so much overflowing. And a guy came over with the boat and said, hey, hop on. Otherwise, you might just drown. He said, oh, no. I trust in thy Lord. He'll come and save me. He'll send his angels or even himself to save me. Okay, buddy. 
Don't tell me. Don't say I didn't tell you. Why the silk is rising, right? He's up in the roof now. A helicopter is set. Hey, buddy, grab the rope. Come on. Oh, no. The Lord God will save me. And you know the end of the story, right? <laughs> Stupid ass drown. He drowned. <clears throat> Sometimes that happens, guys. You know, we are, we're calling upon God. I spent the whole year, guys. Just in case you guys didn't know, I'm part of uh, the Fugato uh, Businessman Fellowship International, more than the million strong worldwide. And uh, we gather in hotels. We gather, we gather in uh, breakfast meetings, luncheons, dinners, all different uh, denominations, Christian denominations. And we have dynamic, which we write in the paper, or what we want God to. I remember writing, you know, God bless me financially. I got through a real hur deep hurdle. I founded my own MLM company, lost about a quarter of a million dollars. Mm. Not cool at all, but it was the best thing ever. Because I got the most beneficial thing, it's called experience. No book can give you that, right? Nobody can tell you about it because you lived it. And you grow as an entrepreneur. But I had the experience. So I was going through some financial challenges and I kept writing in those, those papers. God bless me. God bless me. So December 28 was the day, guys. And I received this call from Mr. Antonio Casas, my downline. I got positioned with point 10. I was broke, but I wasn't that broke, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I just got positioned. The whole month of January, my first question, which is the question of many people, is who are the owners? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had that question? Yes. Who are the owners? The CEO. And look at this, guys. I realized that I had to reprogram myself, right? Because throughout 26 years in my MLM business history, I've always known the owners of each company, of products and services. They fly me in, they wine and dine me, right? Give me a good sweet spot. Maybe start me off with ten thousand a month for the next six months. Or you guys, if you guys didn't know, that actually happens. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> and what happened was that was my first question. So where are the owners? So I have to reprogram myself uh, to that way of thinking that wasn't helping me. Happy. See, in two thousand eight. Something happened in the financial industry. Anybody remember what happened in 2008? Oh, yeah. I lost my house. I had a beautiful four bedroom house, swimming pool, jacuzzi, brand new house, zero miles. I lost it because of the financial industry. It was a good experience, but then I lost it. 2009, guys, came uh, the creation of the Bitcoin which I like to compare it to the Uber of the financial industry. Have you guys uh, seen the Uber situation where they, they first come in and not accepted by the taxi unions, right? Yeah. Not even accepted by the cities or the states and you know, giving them a big uh, situation, right? It's real difficult, right? You guys remember that? Mm -hmm. They couldn't go to the airport, they get ticketed and they'll get towed, right? But yet, the creator of Uber and Lyft, another little company that came on board and tried to maintain that pace, they had an awesome idea that the public, say it with me, the public, the public. responded. They gravitated to it because they were tired of the old ways. All stinky taxi, this doesn't pay off anymore. Bad attitude, over, overworked, Taxi driver, bad attitude that is looking to take you long routes, right? It makes an extra income because the poor guy has been hassling and you know hasn't made any money. He said, hey, you're taking me somewhere else. Oh no, no. Oh. And they don't even speak English sometimes, right? So those old ways were expired. So Uber came in with the five-star rating for both the passenger and the driver. Clean cab wipers, you want to get five stars, right? You want your car to be, you're gonna get a five-star. You're kissing that 
passing your other way. Would you like water? Would you like a candy, right? Because you want those five stars. Yes or yes? So what did Uber do? Revolutionized, interrupted the taxi industry. Even though many powers to be, if you know what I mean, were against it, they had to what? Embrace it. Because you, say, you say, say with me, us, say with me, us, the people wanted that. I hope you're gonna. I hope you're listening to where I'm linking this too. You, the people, we, the people, wanted that service, regardless of what the city, the state, the government, the taxi unions were saying. And now what? You go to the airport, Uber. They don't have a section to pick you up. A, B, C, D, right? Don't you just like it? You're getting drunk somewhere. Having some drinks? Oh, let me order myself an Uber. Right? Accommodates to your reality of today's times. And Bitcoin, nothing different. Bitcoin has come to interrupt the financial industry. The banks do not know what to do with Bitcoin. Investors, traders, and miners. So here I come in with Gladiator Coin and start putting getting Bitcoin orders and sending Bitcoin orders. Oh, deposit to my bank, deposit to my bank. Dude, I was getting a quarter of a million dollars deposited to my bank. Didn't even last me two weeks and my account was closed. <laughs> and it wasn't because the IRS froze my assets, none of that, no. They say in their letter, Bank of America and Wells Fargo, please take, take a look at that. It was a financial decision. <laughs> because money was coming in, what do you think I was doing? Withdrawing the money. Why the hell would you keep the money in the bank? Last time I checked, a CD account pays you 1.27 for the whole year and you can't touch your money. Have you ever had a CD account? Please lift up your hand in pain. <laughs> yeah, you know how it feels, huh? Now, how much money did the bank do with your money? Hello? Average? Average? 13 to 30 percent a month through artificial intelligence robotic trading for big guys like the banks. That is how much you're making on your money. Plus lending your money to people. Okay? So just be aware the banks do not like you. Okay? If you're going to become part of our team, part of this revolution, part of this disruptive industry called the Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency, the banks do not like us. And that's okay, because I don't like them either. <laughs> Goes right back to them. <laughs> See, I don't like them either. They suck. I put my money in there, and everyone they charge me for my own money. Hello? They're already making money, and they charge me. Right? Does that seem right to you? Does it seem right to you? Please answer. No, it's not. So one requirement to come into our team, you gotta be pissed off of the current system that is not working for you. See, they're keeping all the money and we're left with peanuts. So now, it is a transaction, a different change now. Number one, who owns Bitcoin? Who owns Bitcoin? Oh, Satoshi Nakamoto owns Bitcoin. No, he was the creator of Bitcoin. Now let me ask you, who is Satoshi Nakamoto? Nobody knows, right? Why do you think he's anonymous? Let's use our heads now. Why do you think he's anonymous? What would happen to Satoshi Nakamoto if he was to come out and say, by the way, everybody, I am Satoshi Nakamoto. I fooled him on the last five minutes, exactly. We seem to report that Satoshi Nakamoto accidentally stabbed himself like 20 times. <laughs> Consider an accident. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yep. Are you hearing me? Yep. Yes. So that's what's happening. So yeah, people do not want to be known, especially if the owners of Daddy Coin are billionaires. I don't know if you associate yourself with billionaires, but billionaires are the ones that like to put their faces in these type of companies. Nonetheless, how does someone that came in with point ten, you know, please 
I didn't get my pen into this because I forgot my stupid Bitcoin wallet. Imagine who, which owner would like to get that kind of pain? Nobody, right? Let me tell you why I understand that the owners of that coin are nervous. Since the inception of this industry, anonymity is crucial. If you open up a blockchain, right, one of your wallets to store your bitcoins, what is all the information you need to have a blockchain wallet? Please tell me if you have one. Not even an email. I mean, not even your name. Right. An email and a password. Right. That is it. So you are anonymous. There is no social security, no driver's license, no date of birth, no shoe size, how many hairs you have. <laughs> What's your pet's name? <laughs> right? You are anonymous to the system. Gladiquin owners are anonymous. And I do not need them to wine me and dine me and fly me anywhere. Can I be truthful to you guys today? Please. I cannot get flight into anywhere. I paid my $85. <laughs> 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 I and I did not get positioned in a power leg like many people are asking for. <laughs> I built my two legs. One of them is only 43,000 bitcoins on my left side. <laughs> and I feel proud to say that. So what has happened? February 1st, well, December 20, I got position. Upgraded a couple of packages throughout the month of January. But a couple of people, right? Not big hitters, just, you know, regular people. Yeah. Join me. They'll join me just because I tell them. You know those guys? You remember those guys? They don't even know what the hell they're going to. Okay, I'll join you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so they join. I upgraded to different positions. By February 1st, I had no need to know the owners. I understood the concept of the anonymity. Could you comprehend that? Yes, absolutely. Now you understand, right? Because yeah. you're looking at the background, the inception of it is anonymity. For you, for the owner, for Satoshi Nakamoto, because we are in a revolution. <laughs> See, but I had to reprogram myself to that mentality of multi-level marketing products and services. Who are the owners? Are they gonna fly me in? Are they gonna position me? Are they gonna give me volume? Right, right? <coughs> no. This is a different animal. I found out that these guys, the owners of Gladicoin, founded another company called DreamDonation.com. Crowdfunding through Bitcoin. More than a year and a half going strong. Still paying every day, nonstop. That was important to me. They had a reputation, they had a track record of doing what? Say it with me, paying, say it with me. Paying. Pay. Because at the end of the day, you and I, as an entrepreneur, what are we looking for? To get what? Pay. Do it with me. To get what? Pay. This doesn't sound like you're convinced. It doesn't sound like you want to get paid. To get what? Pay. That's what we're looking for. So who gives a crap who the hell the owners are? Because at the end of the day, from 12 to 5, Pacific Standard Time, just to be sure, all of us get what? Pay. And that's sufficient evidence that I need to build this company. And my belief system has actually gradually grown so strong like you have no idea. I just closed out a gentleman at lunchtime. He's coming in with 200 bitcoins. Wow. He didn't see a presentation. All he saw was my belief system. He looked me up in the eyes and said, do you believe in this? I said, yes, 1,000%. I'm soaked. And I show you my results, 50,000 a day. He says, where do I sign? <laughs> <laughs> so you need to get to that level. Remember that fear thing? Now you got to move away from that. Because if you have gotten paid already, that is evidence that we have something going here. Where are the, where are the servers at? 
Philippines. The servers of the company are in Singapore, away from the U.S. of A. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. We have Bitcoin. I just had some people from Puerto Rico said they need seventeen thousand worth of Bitcoin. He sent me the text. I looked the text. Sent me the Bitcoin address. Took me less than two minutes for him to receive seventeen thousand dollars in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Can you do that with the current remittance system? No. 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 How much would that would have cost you if you were to send a wire? If you were to go to the Western Union, MoneyGram, PayPal? Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We are revolutionizing the remittance industry as a whole. Today. I give about a quarter of a million dollars to my Bitcoin provider. He's actually in Hong Kong. I sent the, the Bitcoin address. It took him less than a minute for him to send me a quarter of a million dollars in Bitcoin. That is called speed. Tell me, what, say it with me, speed. 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 See, that is the speed of the industry currently. Remember the taxi, stinky? Those are the banks. Remember the bad attitude? We cannot give you a loan, gentlemen. Your credit sucks. You ever went through that before? We actually have right now companies that are lending you Bitcoin. And they don't give you much of a hassle. We got companies that they can sell you land, property, cars, through Bitcoin. In Japan, they already authorized and approved Bitcoin as a secondary coin. Merchants are looking how to get merchant accounts to receive Bitcoin through the products and services. This Bitcoin ring, I bought it for 5000 and paid me what? Bitcoin. 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 Guys, this is the future. Bitcoin is the future. If you haven't seen it, you have a problem. A lack of education. Ignorance can keep us broke, yes? So let's get educated. Come on. Let's get educated. Let's get ready to revolutionize. Let's get ready to interrupt the financial industry as a whole. Let's be those rebels against a system that is not helping us in any way, shape, or form. Those people that are with, with uh, uh, in favor of the uh, law are taking their money every day. Yeah. There is no law in place about Bitcoin. Why? It's not even considered a currency. It's considered property through the IRS. Yes? So some people are like, how do I report it? You know, they're so addicted to giving their money to the IRS. How do I report it? I'm so scared. I had this guy, man. He was so scared of the IRS for him to have Bitcoin. That how do I keep track of every bit that I receive? Bro, you, when you find out, let me know, but please, for now, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so much analytical. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes. sir. So what are you, how are you going to do to pay taxes at the end of the year when you make 40 million this year? I go, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. For now, let me make it 40 million, brother. Right. Some people haven't even made $100, so they're really concerned how the hell they're going to pay taxes on huh? Make the hundred dollars first a day, then we talk about it. Yes? yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> that is a reality, bro, that I'm faced to every day. And now people are saying, I was willing for the owner. Why am I the owner? Dude, you think if I was the owner, I was working my ass off 22 hours a day, traveling all over the place? Nah, I am not the owner. No, I'm a representative like you guys. I don't want to be the owner. Can you imagine the headache? I have enough headache as it is. Right? I'm just a representative for that. So, Gladiator coin. How are we doing in time, Eduardo? Very good. Yeah? You got about three more hours? Oh, yes, sir. I'm here. Let me taste this coffee here. Okay, guys. So, with Gladiator coin, we have the opportunity to come into a trading platform. Say it with me, trading, trading. trading platform. platform. Okay. Basically, that's what they do. 
Remember that month of uh, due diligence? Mm -hmm. I asked many traders, true traders, not guys that say they're traders, they're, they're, they're broke ass, no. I, I, I uh, interviewed many traders of the cryptocurrency. The average return on trading, 33 to 38%, say it with me, daily. 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 That is the average return that a trader makes daily in cryptocurrency trading. Why? How can a trader make that kind of money? Because of the validity of the industry. Not two weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, how much was the Bitcoin? 1200 bucks. 1200. A couple of days before it was 900. And then suddenly, boom, 1600, right? That validity of the coin is what makes it very lucrative. So when it goes down, you buy. And when it goes high, you sell. sell. But if you have a company that has millions of Bitcoin coming in through you and I, investing in Bitcoin, they're not making pennies, my friend. And then people tell me, well, I need to see those traders in front of the computer. I need to see that robot trading. Have you heard that before? <laughs> If I don't see them trading, then most likely it's a Ponzi scheme, right? What are the banks? Isn't that a Ponzi scheme as well? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> right? Because what is a Ponzi scheme to many people? The people on the top are making all the money. Doesn't they look like the banks? <laughs> the people on the top are making the money, and the bottom people ain't making squat? Yes or yes? Yes. yes. So when people tell me that this is a Ponzi scheme, I just shake my feet, <laughs> clean my dust, and stop my walk and say, see you later, alligator. You have way to go in your mentality. While you're saying that, I'm looking for a winner. Is there a winner in the room right, right now? Oh, yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> see, those are the people that I'm looking for. Open-minded people to Interrupt an industry that is there. Believe me, I'm sold. There's nothing you can throw on me. Right? There's nothing you can throw on me. I'm sold that this is the, this is the industry that will make many people multi-millionaires. Of course, there's many requirements to that, right? One of them is called the work ethic. You guys ever heard of that before? Yes. Oh yeah, you do have to work. See, but most people, and I would say about 70% of people, when they hear, oh, I can demo my Bitcoins and do, don't do nothing, and I can just make money. Have you heard that? Yeah. See, those are the people that are scratching their belly. <laughs> and they want to be millionaires. This 70% here. Oh, I don't want to recommend no one. I'm scared that I might lose their money. <laughs> they won't love me anymore. Today, I had breakfast, Mr. Don Lencho's. Some eggs and tomatoes and, ah, it's good. Cheese and <laughs> handmade tortillas. And when you're connected, I mean, your, your energy is like so high, right? The owner of the restaurant approached me and says, what do you do for a living? Oh, why would you ask that? <laughs> <laughs> Got my phone. <laughs> Showed him my results. Said, well, this is what I do for a day, 50,000 a day. Are you interested? He says, who do I need to kill? <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? He joined in with $2,000 cash. Here you go, my friend. I want to get in with uh, one Bitcoin and the two little legs in the bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like that. People tell me, so how do you recommend people? Everybody that I know says no. <laughs> Change with your friends. Right. Move the hell away from those so-called friends because they, they ain't your friends. As a matter of fact, you don't even want them as your friends. Look for some more open-minded people. And let me tell you, there's people all over that are looking for an opportunity like this. Yes or yes? Right. Yes. yes. Please move away. Move away from those people. Because if you're not 100% sure, they'll surely take you down. You know? 
lot of people, when I send them the text, right, Eduardo? Yes, sir. Unfortunately. They didn't believe me. <laughs> I got like 40 other Eduardo waiting for me. I, I don't know how they do it. I keep dripping on them. I sent them a, a screenshot of 50,000, and they're still thinking that that's a month of income. I sent them a flyer that I made $2.5 million in less than 100 days, and they're still on the fence. So it's not me or my results. They made a little adjustment up there. Right? Yeah. So don't try to convince people. Do not try to convince people. Do not. Those are just not the right person. Look, guys, I realize one thing. Somebody has to clean my house. Somebody has to drive me around. I have a private chauffeur drive me over here. He's still thinking about it, even though he's seeing the kind of money. I actually put him another chauffeur that I met him in the barber shop. Right, Carlos? Yes. We just met not too long ago. He's actually one of the first ones that came into my team. In my power leg. Remember that I had to build two legs? Remember that, remember that guys? He was one, he had like 40,000 bitcoins. And he sat in his ass for about two, two months. Yes, Carlos, right? Look at him now. He actually got, he quit his job and he's doing full time gladiator. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> so, those are the realities, guys, that, you know, situations that are happening here. Okay? So, yeah, you're not going to have access to our traders because if you have access to our traders, there's some agencies that are looking for that address. <laughs> Hello, are you hearing me? Uh -huh. Do you want the goose or the golden next to go away? No. 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 So yeah, you're not going to have access. So then you say, well then, if there's if no proof of trading, they can't be trading. Why wouldn't you? You're getting so many Bitcoins. Imagine this is the Gladi coin, right? And you're getting so many Bitcoins every day. Millions of Bitcoins. People coming in with four, eight, 12, 27, 100 Bitcoins, 200 Bitcoins a day. Bitcoin is coming in. If you were the owner of Gladicor, would you trade? Yes or yes? Why would you not? Look at the possibilities of that return daily. You have to be stupid at the trade, in my opinion. Right? Yeah. Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, it has to make sense for you. It made sense to me. And when it made sense to me, I don't care what you think. I don't care your opinion about Gladiator coin or Bitcoin. I don't care about your excuses. If you're not the right person, excuse me. I got 40 million to make this here. Anybody ready for that? Yes. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Are you ready to put 22 hours a day like this crazy ass right here? Yes. <laughs> Someone else is like, oh, oh. Okay. Here we go. oh, yeah. You have to work. Wait a second. Weren't you just lucky to be the number four in the company when you first came in? Nah. I call on. Why has William surpassed already his upline's earnings? Because I'm all over the darn place. Look it. This weekend I'm gonna be in Puerto Rico. You guys better be there in Puerto Rico, guys. This weekend we're gonna be in Puerto Rico. Again. We're gonna have more than 100 people there. If you know anyone in Puerto Rico? Then we're going to Ecuador. Then we're going to Dubai, Hong Kong, Korea. Filipinas, Thailand, take it over the world, baby. It's a glad coin. Sorry. 20 more minutes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I was about to end. Got the second crew up there. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Get him in here. They'll understand what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> They'll feel the energy, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a strong team, and this is the one who wants to hear that. <laughs> Okay, guys, so 
You're not going to have access to the owners. Is that okay? Yes. You don't have the access to the physical location where the trading is happening. Are you okay with that? Yes. The servers are in Singapore. Are you okay with that? Yes. Do you understand the importance of anonymity of this specific industry? Yes or yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Now that we have that to the side, let's talk about money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, say it with me. Show me the money. One, two, three. Show me the money. Show me the money. No, you gotta say it like you mean it. Say it with me. One, two, three. Show me the money. Yeah, you gotta show me the money, right? So let's talk about the money, guys. See, a lot of companies are out there, copycat companies. I don't want to say their names, okay? I don't. Okay, I don't want to say their names, but they're copycats. They're so sick in the head that they actually have to copy our packages. How sick can you be? It's called lack of creation. You look at those companies, well, 0 0.05, 0 0.10, 0 0.30 month, you couldn't just come up with your own packages at least. And they give you 3.3% and 25% of the binary. And some people that are not ready in the head, called grasshoppers, are just changing from company to company. They're barely making pennies here. Now they're jumping into another deal. Think, oh, I'm diversified. No, you're stupid. That's what you are. <laughs> That's not called diversification. That's being stupid. Because if you find something that is paying you like clockwork, and look at the response, this is like this meeting. It's happening all over the place, guys. Arizona, Texas, everywhere. We're blowing up. Why? The public, the masses have responded. Remember Uber? Mm -hmm. Yes. Once in a blue moon, you have a company that revolutionizes the industry of MLM. And this is one of them. I was lucky 26 years ago to come into a company called Excel Telecommunications. One of my mentors, Mr. Steve Smith, was making a million dollars a month. Never have you heard of that before in the industry of MLM. It wasn't product-based. It was service-based or long distance. People were saying, it's a policy scheme, don't promise. It's a policy scheme, right? What people are saying all over the place, and people are making money. A lot of multimillionaires made money at that time. Now we have a company called GladioCoin where people like us are making money, okay? And people are gonna be talking about it. There was a book written about Excel telecommunications. It was called the Excel Phenomenon. Get ready to read that next book coming up. It's called the Gladiator Coin. Phenomenon. Yeah. Little people, people that didn't have, you know, all this experience or this or that, they were able to make so much money, man because they were with the right company, not the copycat companies. So people hit me up all the time, all the time. Oh, you should get into this one, because I haven't, I haven't even launched. Like, you might be stupid or something. <laughs> I don't have time for, my, for me, my wife, and you asking me to join the company? Dude, I have enough with Gladiator Coin. <coughs> 100,000 members and growing every day. $2.5 million and $50,000 a day. Would you move? <laughs> so if you're from another company and you want to just suddenly send me a text, guess what, what I'm going to tell you? I might not even respond. <laughs> Gladiator Coin is my baby. Okay? And we have the results to prove it. You don't need to change to other plus companies. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. All right, so, well, where the hell was I? Show, okay. me the Show me the money. All right, real simple. <laughs> <laughs> Passively. Two point two percent. You can double in ninety days. Your bitcoins. So, if you come in with 0.10 of bitcoin in 90 days, what do you have? Should help me. Very simple math, right? If you come in with 0.30, you will have what? 
Trinity. Very simple, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody went to first grade or second grade, I don't remember when I learned that, but one of those grades, right? Point fifty. what do you get in many days? One, one, one Bitcoin. Bitcoin. One Bitcoin. One Bitcoin will generate you in 90 days? Two. Two, two, two. two Bitcoins will four. generate you? Four. Four. And four Bitcoins will generate you? Eight. 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 Very simple. Passively. Do you even have to be binary qualified? No. Do you have to invite anyone? No. One rule, very important rule, guys. You need to meet the minimum requirement of 0.3 of Bitcoin to get paid to your wallet. Very Dude, I'm getting every day people saying, I didn't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> now that we announced that, you know, I have direct contact to admin, the little people are coming up and tell me, I can make me 0.10. I didn't get paid today. <laughs> and I go, you're right. You're not going to get paid. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I lost my $200. <laughs> oh. No. You need to accumulate 0 0.03 of Bitcoin. That if you come in with 0.10, it's going to take you about 14 days. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Right. Oh, and don't forget to add your Bitcoin address, please. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I understand, people don't know. But guess what? Our team, World Vision, number one team of Gladicoin, that is the name of our team, we have an English tutorial and a Spanish tutorial. I don't have time for that. But you got time to bother me with 10 text messages? As if I had all the time in the world, sometimes I don't even need. So in the tutorials, you will see those requirements. OK, so is that clear? Simple, yes. right? Yes. Other companies are going to come to you and say, oh, my company gives you fast five bonuses, matching bonuses, matching bonuses. By, they're going to give you a 2 by 12 first matrix. And they're paying you so much that the company has no other way to, but to do what? Fold. Fold. And then they come back to us and say, well, they took all my money. Yeah, of course, you idiot, because they pay you too much. That was the first thing I looked at. The companies only pay you two ways. May I share with you guys the sustainability of the company? May I? Please. Yes. This is what I discovered in January 2017. Most people are going to come in because of fear. In these packages. Yes or yes? yes. True. 0.10, 0.30, 0.50. Because of fear, most people are going to come in here. But most people are not going to stay there once they realize they got paid. Yes? Yes. So what happens once they upgrade and they got paid? What do they do? They upgrade. Someone that came in passively, how long would that take them? Three months. 90 days, right? Look at this. So the company will pay you, right? Double your Bitcoin. What do you do when you get paid? Do you want to just get another Bitcoin? Is that it? Is that you came into this opportunity for that? No. People, make, people get paid, right? But they re get to the company again. Another 90 days. And then the company, the company will pay you four Bitcoins. You think you're going to be happy with that? Imagine a casino. <laughs> And what do you think they do once they get their four bitcoins? They upgrade it, right? And that'll take them another 90 days to get another what? Four bitcoins. This process might take you a year for someone that came in passively. Let me reveal to you guys, even if the company was not trading, which would be stupid for them not to do, the company is sustainable for a whole year because they paid you, but you put it back in. They paid you, but they put it back in. They paid you, but you put it back in. Does that sound like a sustainable company? Yes or yes? Yes. 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 See, I'm a numbers guy. I'm not, I don't even know how to help Bitcoin works. I'm like the, you know, the light. Anybody know how the, the light works? Turn I don't switch. care. <laughs> Just turn the switch on, bro. <laughs> I don't want to take electricity 101. <laughs> I only want the benefits of the light, right? right. <laughs> Same thing here. You think I danger. So how does a bit separate? <laughs> Just pay me. 
I'll figure it out later. Right? I'll figure it out later. But no, but some people need to understand the mathematics and how it works. And they're stuck in there. Because they don't understand it, they don't want to move on. That's okay. That's okay. So this is the passive. Now let's go to the aggressive. <laughs> Basically, we have a binary. Anybody that's been around the block in network marketing, they know that the best compensation plan in the world is called a binary. Especially for those that build networks of people. Yes? Yes. Do you agree with me? Yes. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. It still is what it is. And let me explain to you why it's so powerful. Because you come in here, this is you right here, and you have to bring in two people. Why not bring yourself? You can have unlimited positions, right? So this is you number one, two, and three. Just change the username. One of these sites eventually is going to take off. So maybe you do have to put in people on the left, people on the right, people on the left, people on the right, people on the left, people on the right. That's what I did. I did not come into a power leg. I feel so proud of that. When somebody tells me, if you don't have a power leg, I ain't even touching that company. You might be stupid or something. So you're going to miss out on the huge, the most powerful company in the world with the real results because there's no power in it. Oh my God. Did I have a power in Carlos, when I came in? That's why I put you on the power leg because there was no power in There was no power in I had to build the left and right. Eventually, you're going to find some crazy fool like William Portillo over here. Poof, takes off. Well, that's your power leg. Right. Right? And then you find somebody over here by the name of Richard, right? <laughs> and he takes off, right? Now you got two legs competing. And every time you get volume on the weaker side, the next day, say it with me, next day, next next day. day you get paid that volume. So how much money would you get paid? <laughs> you, you will get paid from 5% to 15% the next day. Let me give you a scenario, just all of you guys that do not understand the power of these guys. Okay, look, okay. say that you came in with four Bitcoins, which is part of the seven. I highly recommend you come in with that. That's what I did February 1st. I needed to upgrade to part of the seven because I wanted 15, right? Why would you want to get five, six, seven, nine, 11, 13? Why would you want to get that when you can get 15, right? right. So say that you're four Bitcoins up here, you're part of your seven, you're at 15%, and this is your pay leg right here. And you brought someone in today with four Bitcoins. That would be 6,646, right? Times 15%. That would be $996 plus $140 for your 2.2%. Two so tomorrow you will get paid $1,136. How many can live with that? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then that person <laughs> invites his mother with four bitcoins. Now you made it again, another $1,136. <coughs> and then that person invited it, your aunt. Now you made another $1,100. Do you see what was happening here? Now look at guys, another sustainability fact that I looked at. Say that this is your power leg, guys. Say that this is your power leg, and say that this is your pay leg, or your weak leg, okay? You need 50 Bitcoins on the pay leg, 50 Bitcoins on the pay leg, in order for you to get eight Bitcoins a day. A day, guys, a day. And they're going to take 50 Bitcoins from your power leg. You get 8 Bitcoins, but then you have to repurchase for tomorrow, right? right? So out of the 8, you put 4 back in. So the company, look at this. 50 plus 50 plus 4 that I, take, I, 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 turn, I repurchase. That's 104 Bitcoins. 
right? And that's a cap. It's not going to pay you more than that. So eight. So the company made 104 bitcoins. 175. That's 172 thousand eight hundred and eight dollars the company made from your team, from your efforts as well, from your own. And you made four bitcoins that day. Net. 6,646 in one position. Now look at this, 6,646 times 365 days in one year. That, that's $2.4 million. Is that cool with you? Oh yeah, yeah. In one year. <laughs> that is one position cap out. One, say it with me, one position oh, capped out. Position now, let, now let me close this out with you guys, okay? Not the company, my team. World Vision, number one team of Gladicon is launching a promotion that started May 5th to August the 5th. Anybody that caps out eight bitcoins a day for 10 consecutive days, I, William Portillo, will pay for two nights at the higher Regency, Dana Point, for a massive training how to take this to the different level. We serve for 20 people only. The first 20 that get eight bitcoins a day. You have to be part of my downline, part of my team, part of my network, which most of you already are, I think. <laughs> and a ring? And a ring! Yeah. <laughs> and if you are married, and she had to put up with your 22 hours a day, she will go with you, and I pay for her too. Yeah. Once again, not Gladicoin. Me, World Vision number one team of Gladicoin is going to sponsor you. Maybe that will move your butt, right? Yeah, with your ring. He doesn't care how he wins. He gives him the ring. That's okay. Whatever tickles your belly. Is that cool? Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. requirements 10 day consecutive eight bitcoins a day let me let me tell you this if you hit eight bitcoins a day consecutively forget about that leg start working on the second one now because now you're now you're looking to make four million now you're looking to make six million net in one year that's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. and it's called and i'm closing out with this it's called the millionaires club that is called, that's what it's called. Those 20 people are going to be part of the Millionaire's Club. Why? They capped out one, bit, one position at AB Coins, be part of the Millionaire Club. Right? I'm going to have my uh, TV crew recording you, helping you to market yourself. I will have at least three to five Rolls Royce there, so you can have some, some, some fun driving around a Rolls Royce. How many of you like that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I lived through a whole day. Yeah. Let's share the lifestyle. Of Gladicoin. Say it with me strong and hard. Say this words with me. I'm gonna close out with this. Bitcoin rules. One, two, three. Bitcoin rules! Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ya saben que va a haber presentación en español para los que gusten. Sí o sí. Dame la foto, dame la foto. Mira lo que ha habido de parte de todos. Ah, qué bueno. Después del tiempo de los famosos. Ah, qué bueno, qué bueno, excelente. Ah, no comen. Go ahead, go ahead, my guy. Oh, man, what is your next LA? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you on the WhatsApp group? I don't, I don't know. I'm on whatever you say. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need that. 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 I need Thank you, my beautiful. Man, this was dynamic. I enjoyed it. This was dynamic. So, yeah, you're right. Yeah, call me.